Welcome back Savages to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at a new crypto project called SC Prime. So SC Prime is a crypto project that rewards users who provide disk storage to their network with a token called SCP. So you can actually go out there and buy a ready-made miner called an XA miner from them but there's plenty of ways you can actually build your own. So what I've done here is built a DIY one just using a Raspberry Pi 4. So in this video, we're not going to cover how to install the software. There's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to do that. And I'll leave a link in the description to a couple of those as well for you to follow. So in this video, I'm just going to show you the part you would need to build a DIY miner based on a Raspberry Pi 4. And then, as always, we'll finish off using a power monitor just to see how much power this entire setup uses. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to need is one of these. It's a Raspberry Pi 4 computer. The one I've opted for is the Model B 4 gig RAM version. So the next thing you're going to need is a good case for the Raspberry Pi 4. So originally I went for the official case with the fan, but I just wasn't very happy with the airflow coming out of it. So I did a little bit of research and the one I settled on was this one here, which is called the new ice tower cooler now the beauty of this one is it comes with two fans so you've got the original rgb one which is that one here or you just get a black one with it as well which is that so i've just opted for the black one because it's all about trying to save as much power when you're using these devices so without having leds on shore it should save a little bit of power as well so that's the one i've gone for now just have a look at it closer it comes with an acrylic bottom here and you just build it up in layers and then there's a heat sink which just clips onto this frame here and then you've got the fan on the front now if i touch that that is nice and cool and for me that is probably the best cooling solution you're going to get for a raspberry pi 4 so that is the one to go for so again i'm going to leave a link in the description to all of these parts so you can check that out later so there we go that's set up and it's all working the other thing you're going to need is a portable hard drive now it doesn't need to be portable you could have a powered one but again, it's all about saving power. So the best and the highest capacity you can get at the moment is five terabytes. So I've got a five terabyte portable hard drive and it's fully charged just via USB. There's no external power for this. So again, it's all about keeping your energy costs down when you're doing these types of mining projects. So as you can see, it's flashing away. So this is all connected up and it's currently on the SC Prime network at the moment and the disk is being utilized. Now, another thing I would suggest, a little tip is try and use wired ethernet so originally i did try this with wi-fi but if you think about it, this is a storage solution and the sc prime network want as good a connection as you can get and for me when i did all the uh, the metrics on wi-fi versus wired wired was always uh, much much better and if you have it as close to your router as possible then it ensures that the access to the network is as fast as possible so i'm using ethernet and it works great it hasn't gone down at all i've had it up and running for about two weeks now and it's been flawless so that's the way to go about setting this all up obviously i'm using uh, the official pi power supply i would recommend that as well because obviously you're powering a hard drive that's going to be using some juice you've got the fan as well built in so you could probably could run this off usb to a computer or something but i already got uh, a pi 4 power supply so that's probably the best way to go about doing it so a new feature i've never done before is to have a look at the actual thermals of this kit in action so let's hook up a thermal camera and see what it looks like so here we are we've got the pi 4 on the thermal camera the fan itself is only given about 25 26 degrees c if we move it down to the motherboard itself it's only about 32 which is pretty good for this move it around going up to about 35 36 on one of those chips so next up is the portable hard drive if we look at that it's only about 28 degrees c gets a little bit hotter just towards this bit on the end at about 30 degrees so overall that's what the heat signature looks like so with the whole system connected up with a cooling fan and a portable hard drive connected via usb you are looking at 5.6 watts which is 0 0.041 amps which is nothing 
So there you go, savages. That was a DIY SC Prime Miner built on a Raspberry Pi. Um, hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like, and I'll see you savages on the next one.